All right, it's a completely miserable day outside. Can I build an image stabiliser for the GoPro out of bits and pieces I've got in the shed, and will it actually work? Well, if it doesn't work, I guess you won't be watching this because I won't bother putting the thing up. Right, I was thinking I was going to have to bend this in a big arc, but then I saw that, and that's just... I can bend that in a vice, I reckon. So, for a handle, we have got... That's off a Fostex thing you plug your iPhone into. It's got a quarter inch uh, male on the, um, the top and a quarter inch female on the bottom. That'll do for a handle. Uh, let's see, that's going to attach onto that via that thing. That's like a tripod mini ball head thing. It doesn't have a lot of movement. Maybe it has enough. I don't know. So that's got a quarter inch thread, that will screw into that for my handle, and we'll attach that via, that's actually for a microphone mount, and I happen to have a little microphone mount there, so I'll stick that into that, stick that into that, stick that into that, that will go on something like that, like that, and we get this big piece of aluminium here, which I've got spare, and we'll bend that around to form the mount, and I'll use a bolt and some washers for the weights. What do you reckon? I'm completely clueless here, but that's the way it always is with me. And a handy measuring device. I reckon if I have something like... Now, I did this before, but I just sort of chucked the rope on there to give me an idea of dimensions, went something like that, make it something like that, and... Where to put me mark? There it is. So something like about that long, I reckon. Damn accurate measuring device, that. Right. All right, what's I've got to do first? So, I reckon... Now, I reckon I'll put the handle on last, because I'll be able to move the handle back and forth and balance it on my finger. I've got no idea how to balance it, but that's what I'm going to try and do. Uh, so the first thing I need is a quarter-inch slot. So... I'll need two quarter inch holes, and they're going to have to be, let me see, let me see. You're looking at this thing, and he's got no friggin' idea what he's doing. Oh, that's just a bit of angle um, channel I had sitting around. I just cut that. You can see I've used that before. Stick it on there. In fact, everything's been a bit used before. So I'll need a hole there, and maybe a hole there, and cut a quarter inch slot right through. Right, let's do that. That's going to go to about there, so there's no point cutting a slot. It might have maybe... Let's give it three inches. Let's have a three-inch slot. That should be roughly in the same. When I come to sort of balance it, um, that's going to be my handle attachment point, which that screws onto there, and the handle goes on top of all that. And if it doesn't work, these bits just go all back to my, uh, and that's my gimbal handle. So, looking at that, the bend starts pretty much straight after the camera slider thing, so I reckon we can start to bend that about sort of there. What sort of an angle would that be, I wonder? Um, Probably about 45, I reckon, because that's 90 degrees to that. So if we've got two 45 angle bends there, that makes 90, uh, and that could be that could be a little bit more than 45. Somewhere like that. We'll put our third bend in there. We got what we got.
Now I don't have any suitable washers for this at the moment, so I'm going to use some unsuitable washers until such time as I can get an idea of what weight I need. And then I might uh, cut a bit of aluminium rod, approximately the right weight, and drill a quarter inch hole straight through the middle of it and use that as the weight. So I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this nut around and put the weights out here. See what happens. That wants to be right at the front. If I add some weight to the back of that. Okay. All right, so I've put a weight on the back because it looks as though it needed a bit more weight there. And I'm going to install the handle as far forward as I can. This should be the centre of mass. I've got it reasonably balanced, but I reckon the actual centre of mass is somewhere down here. And I reckon I can demonstrate that. If I pull that right back, that comes forward really quickly. So I think I need more weight up here, or move the weights further up. If I add this highly technical and advanced piece of weighting gear here, do that again, it's much slower, much smoother. Let's give it a whirl, sure. I'll walk out of the shed and around the house and we'll see how that looks. This is just hand holding a GoPro. And I'm not going to be gentle with it. back. Alright, we're on the uh, stabiliser now, so I'll do a, a brisk walk out to where I was. Ooh, we're still tilting forward a little bit there. A bit of rocking forward going and back. Use my thumb to bring it around a bit more and a bit of a jog back. So the end result uh, looks something like this. Uh, it's pretty interesting to use. It seems to have a mind of its own sometimes, so it tends to take a little bit of a, a thumb to keep it spinning in the right direction or maybe a thumb on the back or something with the other hand. Uh, but it works surprisingly well. I was pretty shocked when I looked at the video and saw just how good this works. Uh, you can see I've added another weight there just behind the camera. So that sort of brings the, the centre of gravity just about to my thumb. Um, so it's, it's pretty sort of slow to react and recover to things. But overall, that's turned out pretty darn well. And like I say, I'm quite surprised at how good that footage looked when I looked at it um, back. Uh, probably this is not terribly good because I've only got about yay much travel before it hits the stops as you can see. So I'll probably need to put a universal joint in there and attach the handle to that I think. But um, well worth it, well worth it. Look you could, you could make that out of bloody anything you could get your hands on. That's, um, that's just bodged together out of bits and pieces in the shed. Uh, a good project. Go for it. <laughs>